Australia's biosecurity system plays a crucial role in maintaining market access for our livestock and plant industries. Farm biosecurity covers a range of simple practices that help keep Australian livestock and crops free of diseases, pests and weeds. This short video provides an overview of some practical measures you can implement as part of your daily routine to minimise the risks of vehicles and equipment moving on and off your property. Restricting entry to visiting vehicles reduces the risk of diseases, pests and weeds entering your property. Limiting the number of entry points makes it easier to manage their entry and exit. Visiting vehicles should be restricted to designated areas, helping to prevent contamination from outside your farm. Uh, we don't let people bring vehicles um, into the property in general other than coming up to the car park at the winery. Uh, but certainly no vehicles going into the vineyard, which is our critical area for producing our crop. Um, vehicles can obviously carry quite a lot of uh, seeds, um, soil, um, pests can be hidden in there. So we, uh, by keeping vehicles out as much as we can, uh, we can manage things a lot better. Use clear signage to direct visitors to a designated area away from livestock, pasture and crops. Ensure that the instructions are clear and your contact details are on the signs. If visitors are to be transported across your property, use your own farm vehicles to take them around. Vehicle hygiene is extremely important on your property. Insist on all vehicles being cleaned before allowing them onto your property. And don't forget to check tyres, undercarriages, grills, floors and trays. These can carry diseases, pests and weeds in soil, plant material and manure. You should provide a wash point for any vehicles that need to enter farming areas. A dedicated high pressure wash down area, located well away from crops or livestock, is a cheap and effective way of dealing with these risks. For maximum protection, it is recommended that you follow any wash down with a disinfectant solution. This will help to remove and kill any pests or disease agents on the vehicle. Don't allow runoff to reach livestock pens, paddocks, crops and waterways. A sump to collect wastewater and solids is easy to install. Always check around the washdown area for pests or weeds. Equipment hygiene is just as important to keep your property safe. Cleaning and disinfecting obviously changes with the, the, the role and the function of the gear, but if you have things that are high risk, then obviously you apply a higher standard of cleaning. Sure, I, I use high pressure cleaning right down to, to disinfecting agents for those things that I might do surgical pr procedures with. Clean and disinfect all tools and equipment before and after use on plants, produce or livestock, especially if they are sick or showing signs of poor health. For best results, use a disinfectant solution such as truck wash, detergent, diluted bleach solution or 70% methylated spirits. It is also a good idea to clean equipment between blocks or paddocks with a disinfecting agent. This will help to prevent the spread of existing diseases, pests and weeds to clean areas or to contain an isolated outbreak on your property. There may be situations when you need to deal with diseased plants and animals. It's best to work with these last in the day so healthy animals or plants are not infected. Equipment used for these purposes should never be used in the healthy areas of your property until fully disinfected. It may be best to have dedicated equipment, including tools, clothing and footwear, for use on sick animals and plants. Avoid sharing equipment between properties. If you borrow or lend equipment or purchase second-hand machinery, clean and disinfect it thoroughly before using it on your own farm. When using the same equipment and machinery for multiple jobs, for example, transporting produce, handling feed, manure or dead stock, Always clean thoroughly before each new use. Equipment storage areas should also be cleaned and disinfected regularly, as some pests and diseases can live in them for long periods. You are the most likely person to notice changes in the health of your livestock and crops. So use the simple biosecurity practices described in this video to secure your farm and secure your future. Biosecurity is everyone's responsibility. If you see anything unusual on your property, call the Emergency Animal Disease Watch Hotline on 1800 675 888 or the Exotic Plant Pest Hotline on 1800 084 881. 
For more information, visit www.farmbiosecurity.com.au.